Okay, so let's put this chip onto the wide form adapter. So this is called a QFP32 adapter, and of course it's a 32 pin chip, so I'm just positioning it here at the moment. And the first method I'm going to use for attaching it is going to be just with a standard soldering iron and yeah it's my preferred method although I think due to little lack of practice lately I got quite a few bridges when I did this particular one and with bridges you can just either use a soldering iron to uh, pull some of the solder off or in this case I had a little bit of soldering flux and uh, then use some what's called soldering braid or wick and just wicked it away uh, the excess or the bridges uh, some people do this as a fairly standard technique they just drag the solder across the pins and just wick away the excess so yeah it's a pretty straightforward um, standard method like the last side just pulling off that solder inspecting looks good so now just attaching the headers I have to do one corner first to keep it in place and then just do all the rest it was a good idea to check the result too at the end just to make sure we didn't miss one now with the second uh, chip. I'm actually going to use some solder paste, like liquid solder, I guess you'd call it. Uh, and you, I'm just smearing the solder paste onto the pads with a little screwdriver. And then place the component. Um, and then there's a hot air gun. I think it's around 320 degrees. And as the solder paste melts into place, the component just gets attached to the pads pretty easily. So this is a lot faster way of doing it. There was still a couple of bridges there. And I think there's a bit of an art form as to how much solder paste that you put down to get the required result. I've just marked that one so I know which one is which. So there's a little uh, dab of correction fluid on the front there. And now soldering up the headers. And that's it. That's the two boards. So this is the wide form factor rig that uh, I soldered up. And uh, the board or the adapter just fits onto the top. You can see the USB ASP in the background. Uh, comes in via a six pin connector. Here's the Arduino IDE, so I've selected 8 megahertz internal clock so just burning that bootloader and then uploading via uploading the uh, fire program which is the USB ASP and that's complete and this is the actual process when you push that button that's it fairly quick and finally just to test those two the one that I sold with the soldering iron and the one which I did with the solder paste and you can see the solder paste on the left hand side is just running a fade sketch and the one on the right hand side is running a standard blink so both those boards are, um, are working fine <laughs>